Hello and welcome back. My name is Graham Miller and I am the Ancient Minecrafter, partly because I used to Minecraft ancient stuff like Stonehenge and partly because I'm ancient and I play Minecraft. This is my main home here. Um, it's really simple, it's just got a bed, some chests that even though they're labelled are really disorganised, a um, brewing stand, some tables. I have to explain, about three years ago I made a series of videos based on Minecraft Java, heavily modded, um, that were about trying to rebuild Stonehenge and the environment around it. And then I kind of stepped away from that because I wanted to concentrate on writing books. And I've now come back and what you can see here is a realm that I've set up with my three children. Children, I say, this is Funky McClucker, this is where he lives, and as you can see it's an impressively big house, he's 18. Um, I've got three boys and that's his house over here and this has really annoyed him this is Cat King 89 I'm giving you their username so if they pop up while I'm recording you can um, meet them as it were in game he's tried to build one layer on this house from every single type of wood and he's done really well but as you can see nowhere on this entire realm yet have we found um, any jungle so he hasn't quite finished his house we will keep killing pillager raids as well so banners are everywhere um, and my youngest is his username is null with lots of fives after I'll just call him null for now and this is one of his houses he's kind of he's only 11 and he's a bit random in the way he builds things and his houses he just loves building houses so there's lots around that monstrosity was cat king he's 15 he just built that that's a way to the nether now what we've done is, you see this fence here, that goes for 100 blocks in each direction and enclo encloses a great big square. And inside the square is this area that we call the compound. It's very well lit with torches, it's got shared resources like our enchanting table, shared chests, it's actually got nothing in it. Oh joy, it's just started raining. I'm on a survival world so I can't change the weather or anything. Um, that chest down there is full of junk that I fish up. There's a fishing spot, there's a river. There's a donkey with a chest. This is a very mature world. We've been playing it for probably nearly a year now. Um, there are farms, pumpkins, nether wart farms. These bizarre nether crystal quartz building is a set of elevators with magma and soul sand that take you up and down and we've got a mine that goes down to level 11 where, as you can see, I've been mining a lot of diamonds. The children for some reason like making farms like this that are just holes in the ground and I don't like it I prefer to do proper fenced farms. Now my oldest Funky he loves to do roads so this is one of his roads I'm just going to sprint down here because it's fairly horrible if you look off to the left and right there are like failed mansions that people have tried to build I think that was one of Nulls over there um, there's kind of experiments, there's little farms, there's cobbles. Like I say, we've been here for about a year. Oh, I don't have quite enough space for an egg at the moment. So, there's just stuff everywhere, there's kind of experiments. But that, and you can't really see it very well because it's raining and I think it's dark. That is what we're here to see today. I had this really silly idea. About six months ago, it was the last two weeks of term, the boys were bored at school, and I thought to myself, I know, I've got a couple of weeks, I'll build a cathedral. And then it'll be really cool, I won't tell them. They'll drop into the realm just to play Minecraft because it's summer holidays and they'll be like, oh wow, where did that come from? And I went onto Wikipedia and I got um, looked up plans of cathedrals and you know websites from famous cathedrals. And they're enormous. Um, I found this piece of land, I picked 70, you can see from my coordinates I'm at 71 at the moment. So here, 70. I picked 70 as a kind of reference base and I tried my absolute hardest to level it all out to 70 with some degree of success. You can see there's lots of interesting stuff around here. I mean, I'm going to take weeks and weeks of videos to show you everything. So, I'm just looking for torches to see if we're actually in night time because it's very hard to tell. So I leveled this all out to 70 and this is what we've built so far. And I say we because over six months all of us have been building it and actually I'm actually having to run around it because it's so big these are kind of like some experiments that we've done in how to make buildings 
this is the far end of it. Now I know it's not great because it's dark and it's raining, but yeah, that's kind of, and it's going to be way higher than that as well. And you know, I keep going back to Wikipedia and I keep checking things and I keep, you know, making sure I've got my numbers right. And that is about how big they are. It really is quite incredible. There's another. I think that bizarre leaf building with more um, banners is another Cat King house. This is where we all live when we're over here. There's some more traditional farms. Um, I'll show you the machines later when I've actually had a sleep and it stopped raining. This is my... I see... Ah, now here's the problem. I keep playing on the Xbox downstairs. Oh, I can only sleep at night. So every now and again I get really kind of confused because I'm upstairs on the PC so I can record this and talk to you. This is my organised building materials for the cathedral and then there's a second annex down here with even more chests in it because there's just so much stuff involved. And I really need to, do need to tidy up and put stuff away. Uh, Funky's got a home over here. That's his home there. That's a kind of perspective build over there from uh, Null, I think, built that. It's going to be like a sandstone tower. And that is a whole other project called the Sky Farm. That's Cat King's baby. And if he wants to make videos about it, I'll let you know about them. Now, if you're building a cathedral, you need a lot of stone. Bear in mind, if you look at my stats here, we're in survival. I love getting achievements, so we're all in survival. And we have built this. It used to... No, he's grubbed it out. Cat King built this bit. This used to have a railway on it and a hopper. So what would happen is a rail cart full of cobblestone would come up there. It would stop there. The hopper would unload it into this chest, which at the moment has got a piece of rail on it. And, cob and you can see the cobblestone there is ticking down. The cobblestone goes into the double hoppers because it's a double chest. And again, you can see they're kind of coming in and out of there. Um, oh, we've got some iron ore there waiting for its turn in the queue. Now these hoppers at the side here, oh, there's nothing in them at the moment. What we do is we go and get buckets of lava and we fill up either the chests or the hoppers each side with buckets of lava, but I think we would probably, I need to go and maintain the machine. And then with these two hoppers, it fills up at the bottom here. Yeah, look, we've got nine empty buckets there. We've got one piece of cooked salmon. We've got some stone. It kind of gets a bit confused, so I'll just do that to help it. And all this is stone and glass, which obviously if you look up at the boot of the building, is what we need. And then we've got a stone cutter here, so we can take the stone out of there, make stone bricks, make steps, make slabs, make everything we need to carry on. And we've got a smaller version of that, we call that the machine. And we've got a much simpler version over here with a smoker and that just relies on coal. I don't know why there's a cooked salmon in there, I'll take that out. Oh, there's an iron ore, I'll put that back in. Um, and again, you can just wander along as long as it's got coal in it. Have I got any? See, I just misclicked again. Oh, now I've just no idea what I'm doing because I'm used to the Xbox and all the controls are weird. So as long as it's got coal in it, you just... Oh, you see, I keep wrong clicking. Any raw food you've got, which I don't think I have at the moment, you can just go along, pop it in the chest, and it pops out at the bottom, and anybody gets hungry. And this is what I'd say to parents. If you're a parent and you're watching this, and you think, oh my god, why are my kids spending so much time on uh, Minecraft? Learn to play yourself, because then you can set up things like this. And as well as in the um, real world, if you like, in the Minecraft world, you can actually start to kind of talk to each other, and they'll say things like... Um, Oh, have you got any iron? Or, you know, somebody will be hungry and then somebody else will say, Oh, well, I've got a carrot farm set up, so I'm just farming loads of carrots. Um, and it's a great way to actually just talk to your kids. And, right, I'm just going to go to bed because I can see the torches are um, starting to shine. So I'll go to bed and hopefully that will get rid of the rain. And, yeah, like I say, I tried to do this project as like a big surprise for the kids. Oh, there's the rain. Excellent. And after two weeks, I barely managed to level out the whole area and put the outline down. And Funky had just done his A-levels, so he was around anyway. And then the kids were just like, oh, what are you doing? And in the end, 
I mean, I'm the kind of the architect. I, but I haven't planned it all out on square paper or anything. I'm just kind of messing around with it, and if I find something that looks good, I'll copy it. Like I like those arches, so I'll copy them across, or the stained glass, or those details. But then the kids start helping. This is Null, who's only 11, because I explained to him that a cathedral is where a bishop has his throne, and he was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we can make some thrones." So these are like kind of working areas of like thrones. Um, they did the floor of the nave. I'll take you in and show that before I wrap this video up. So they were playing around with glazed terracotta. And all these areas here are where they've done... Yeah. And they're trying to work out how to get the patterns to work. So they've done all that. Um, there's various farms that they've set up, like there's one here. That was originally a railway that I think was meant to run back to the uh, compound, but never quite worked. So this is a formal entrance, what's called the west front of the cathedral. I do, well, don't apologise, you are going to learn a lot of architecture terms. I actually took the younger two, um, Null and Cat King, out to a cathedral over the Christmas holidays. And the staff there were really impressed at how much they knew about cathedrals, and I was just like, yeah, that's because they play Minecraft. I've just noticed that, I've no idea what that is. That's the other thing, because this is a realm, the kids can play here while I'm not here. So I come back in and I'll just suddenly see whole new stuff that's just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Um, so yeah, this is the impressive big west front entrance. I've got various points around it where I can go and have a look. I'll show you all the detail um, in later videos, but I'll just give you a very quick walkthrough of the whole process. So this is the big west front. It's got three doors, very complicated arches. They took me a long time to work out. Ah, I've got the right click going now. I think we're getting more used to this. So, one thing the boys have done, which I am super grateful for, is they've tamed loads of cats. And the whole place has got sitting cats all over it. And touch wood, so far we haven't had any creepers, which could be a big problem. Right, so this floor was all done by the boys. The younger two boys, I think, did that. They'd spent a lot of time researching it and working it out and those lovely swirly patterns they did all of that the pews they did we worked on these arches together this is the nave by the way there's like clear stories and galleries up there there's um we got these lovely looking stairs that go up to floors and roofs i'll show you all that later i'll give you a quick look around now and then right in the comments i like having pillager banners up in the church everybody else says they look scary this cat king is only 15 worked out this he's done these as proper banners which are amazing um this is called the crossing uh do excuse the water by the way because we're working on that floor up there and even with crouching sometimes you just dig out underneath you and it just saves an awful lot of null five 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 fell from a high place messages so that's the nave looking to the west that's the south transept I'm starting to forget my terms now. That's to the north, and this is the east where the choir is, and now I'm kind of in the water. And these four blocks kind of mark out the centres, as you, as you can see, so we can kind of keep um, a track on it, and there's like arches. Um, it's kind of interesting now, because it really is a work in progress. You can see that up there it's just halfway done, but that takes stacks and stacks and stacks of stone to even get that far. And at some point, and there's like... Right, my general plan for this is anything in birch, like this, is and that, like those stairs, is scaffolding. And all the ladders are scaffolding. And that's more birch scaffolding, so I can do the stained glass windows. Anything I've done in oak, generally, see there's a little bit of scaffolding there. And done in oak is generally part of the building. I need to do some more arches there. So that way I can kind of keep it straight in my head. The other boys, like I say, it's really interesting because it's like a collaborative effort and we're not really talk not, not that we're not talking to each other, but stuff happens. They use a lot of dirt for scaffolding, so there's dirt blocks around there that are just left. And eventually we're going to have to tidy it all up. Um, and this is the choir, which is the big kind of fancy bit with the high altar at the end again. You can see there's cats everywhere. All these kind of circles and sheep outlines and everything will be gone. And I'll just have a very quick look down here before we go, because Cat King again 
um, he did all of this and this is the crypt underneath which is just gorgeous and it's got little graves dotted around the sides I think it might have to be a bit longer with little name tags and everything which is quite kind of fun um, oh yeah there's a mini crypt as well Null made a mini crypt so I will just open this door and through here you see again the railway came through here um, here is the mini crypt which is all null and again you can come out here and you come out up here so um yep i'm going to sign off obviously like and subscribe if you feel minded to do so please leave me comments i'll try and do one video a week you see again there's some uh, grass scaffolding i'll try and do one video a week um to keep you updated on how it's going and if there's no updates I'll show you around things like these are called flying buttresses and there's a whole areas you can get to inside and bits you can climb up so once a week I'll give you a new video thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon